Chief Commissioner Ken Lay. Good morning. Good morning. Reading the report on the parole system as released yesterday, there was uh, something that stood out, well, several things stood out, but particularly from a comment you were attributed to you when you talk about the reforms to the system. You say the current reforms transfer the risk from the parole board uh, and Corrections Victoria to Victoria Police. Yeah. Does that mean that if these reforms go through, the police have got, what, an additional workload, additional problems? What does it mean? Um, Neil, the current, there's, there's some legislation before the House at the moment that will actually give Victoria Police a power of, of arrest um, for people who we believe may have breached their parole. Um, well, you don't have that at the moment? No, we don't. So uh, we, we normally advise the parole board and the parole board would make a, make a decision. But um, my understanding now of the proposed legislation will give our people th that power of arrest and then... Um, actually then ask the parole board to make a determination whether they want to uh, breach that parole or not. Now, um, one of the things that concerns me um, that we need to get right is that Victoria Police has the systems and processes in place that we understand when people are, are on parole. So that'll mean better IT systems, that'll mean some training for our people. Um, I don't want to be in a position where I'm talking to you in 12 months' time where a Adrian Bailey has been let go by one of our members because we haven't got the systems in place to actually identify that someone's on, on parole. So there is some work to do within Victoria Police. There's some investment that we need to make to make sure that that occurs. And we're not quite there yet, but having said that, um, Callanan's uh, report um, is very helpful. Um, I've noted with interest uh, the Premier's commitment to have a Ministerial Advisory Council, which we uh, uh, started today to put some work together to put before that Council to actually try and cover off on some of our risks. So just to get it clear, if you're going to take over this responsibility, you need new computer systems and extra resources and more people? Well. Um, what, what we need to, what we ne absolutely need to make sure, Neil, is that one, at three o'clock in the morning, when one of my people at Ballarat pulls over a car of someone who's on parole that we think is offended in such a way to breach that parole, that we're in possession of all the facts. What I don't want to do is actually pull this person over and not understand this person's on parole. Um, admit him to bail when we haven't got all the fact, facts about his offending. Um, so we absolutely have to have the full picture now. Well, what, moment, what happens now? If you pull over that person over Ballarat now, do you not know he's on parole? Um, we may know he's on parole, yeah. We may, we may know there's, there's a flag there. But you may not. But we may not. Um, well, that means the system's not fixed. Um, well, it will be, though. It will be, uh, Neil, um, with, with, with the changes. But what we have to make sure with the changes is that we're in possession of all the facts. Um, so at the moment, we'll see a flag on our LEAP system that says this person's on parole. Under the new legislation, if someone offends, um, we have to make a judgment whether we admit that person to bail or whether we uh, leave them in custody. Um, if we admit them to bail and we've missed some facts um, of their history, um, we're going to be held rightly accountable by the, by the community. So we just need to make sure that everything's lined up. But I'm a little confused. Can you see now or can't you see now if a person's on parole? Does it yes, flag on your bleep system? There's, there's so what do you mean? You might pull them over but not know. Um, well, you'd, you'd look, you'd like to think that our people would actually understand that a person's on parole. So if they if they look closely enough, they'll find it. But I, my point is, and I haven't been as clear as I should have been, my point is here that under the new legislation, the proposed legislation, we have got the opportunity to actually bail people um, for a breach of parole or hold them in custody. If we aren't in possession of absolutely every piece of fact. We may well bail people that shouldn't have bail. Okay, well, if, if you pull somebody over now, the, the system flags they're on parole, does it tell you what for, what the crimes are, what the parole is, what the conditions are? Does it tell you any of that? Um, now, my understanding is it doesn't. So what does it tell you? Just he's on um, parole? He's on parole. We, 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 could, we, could make an, we could make an assessment, um, Neil, looking at his prior history, um, but it's... In relation to information from corrections, it's very, very light on, um, and um, 
we, we'd like to see we'd like to see better systems. So you might be told it's on parole, but not anything else. Um, yeah. Oh, look, we we'll, we could actually go back into our systems and see when he'd been charged, when he'd been released, and make an assessment. But what we can't see is intelligence. What we can't see is information that corrections may have. Um, if we're going to be releasing people on bail prior to um, and making an assessment that they're safe to release on bail, and we haven't got all that information, it's 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 risky. It is risky. I think a lot of people will be shocked to know you don't have that. I mean, you should push a button and get everything you can on me yeah. or anybody else you pull well, over. Well, see, see, Neil, the current system is, though, that we wouldn't arrest someone who's on parole. We, we'd see the parole flag, we'd advise corrections, um, and they'd make an assess uh, the parole board would make an assessment. Or we'd charge someone, they'd go, in, they'd go into our cells, and our leap system automatically lets correction know electronically. Well, look at the Adrian Ernest Bailey case. When he gets drunk, which is a breach of parole, and yeah. breaks somebody's jaw, which is a breach of parole, yeah. uh, you're locking him up for breaking the jaw anyway. Yeah. But do you know that he's on parole? Um, yes, we would have known he was on parole. And what would ha what happen? What would happen now is when he goes into our system, our leap system. Mm -hmm automatically an electronic message would go to corrections to say uh, we have Bailey in the cells, he's a parolee, uh, the parole board needs to make a consideration as to whether he should be breached. There must have been police who were absolutely staggered that uh, Bailey was laid out in the streets again. Um, I think that's true, that's true to say that. And they couldn't do anything about it? Um, well, um, I think that's, that's the decision was made by the parole board and um, um, we're bound by that decision.